Hey everybody, this is Will of Carolina Thread Place. Here we are, day three. Today, we're going to be talking about stabilizer. How awesome and fun is that? Before we get started, your second letter of the puzzle is W. We gave the first one yesterday and we explained what was going on yesterday, but today the letter is W. Hmm. I wonder what the next one's going to be. Be sure to turn in. Now, as you can see here, we have multiple different stabilizers. And I do mean multiple as I drop a, a mug. So we have all these. And what do they do? What are they called? These are all different companies. Unfortunately, I do not have any Sulky brand. I know I'm a Sulky rep and I, or Sulky retailer and I don't have it. But that's all good. So let's discuss what we have here. So first off, we have cutaway. We have cutaway squares here, and then we also have a roll of it. These I got from Amazon, and you can get them pre-cut. They're eight by eight. These are pre-cut. I got this at Embroider Everything from a, from a vendor there. And again, they're eight by eight. So as you can see, what is this considered as? This is cutaway, which means you have to use your scissors to cut this material or this um, stabilizer after the embroidery. What do you use cutaway for? T-shirts, amazing. Patches, I use it for the patches. Um, but you can also use a different stabilizer. But these right here, this is the stuff that um, even after it washes, if you wear it, you use cutaway. Do not use tear away or water soluble. So there we go. We have cutaway. Second, we have tear, or this is tear away. You embroider on it, on whatever your material is. This is on the back, and once you're done, you just simply tear it away. So there you go. That is why it's called tear away. These are great for behind towels, um, blankets, anything like that, so that you can just get rid of um, the stabilizer. It doesn't need stabilizer behind it. Um, so really good thing to use. Now, the next one is one of my personal favorites when I, because I love doing lace, is water soluble. So there's two different kinds here. This one's kind of a webbed version, and this is kind of a plastic version. Both of them work very, very well. And the good thing about these is a little bit of water and it goes away. So these are good also for terry cloth, like if you're doing terry cloth bibs or anything like that, this will put the nap down. And then once you do your embroidery, <clears throat> Use a little bit of water, or you can actually dunk the item in water if you can, and it just goes away, and then the terry cloth comes up where there is no embroidery. Where there is embroidery, it will just not come through it. So, awesome stuff. This is also a good thing that you can do called lace embroidery or freestanding embroidery. And unfortunately, I do not have anything close to me to show, but I did the butterflies with this and the rose thing. So it just importers on here, you dunk it in water, and then it just, it's freestanding um, thread, which we call freestanding lace. So as you can see, there's multiple different types of stabilizer. Um, I use this roll from Designs by Little B for my five by seven because it's perfect. And I use the these right here, these sheets for my four by four. So there is something cool that I'm gonna demonstrate for you before I let you go. We're going to actually hoop stabilizer. And as you can see, really awesome pre-cut, oops, sorry, pre-cut fits beautifully and then you can actually put anything on top of here to embroider on as you can see 
and this is called floating really really cool so anyways thank y'all very much for checking out this stabilizer video um, please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if I missed anything while covering this definitely let me know in the comments below or if you're enjoying these videos let me know I gave you the letter for today this earlier this video so check that out if you missed it and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow until then have a wonderful day